Hey, what's going on guys? IS Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a pillow uh, in Cinema 4D, the quick and easy way. So um, yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to add in the cube, and we're going to move it so that it's um, just kind of like we want it in a pillow shape. Um, or we want it kind of in the shape of a pillow, so let's say we want it just like that. I think it should be good. And um, we're going to set our display to go around shading lines, and we just need to increase the segments on the X and Z, or Z, X and Z, and um, just so we have, I think, an equal amount of polygons on either side, yeah, that's pretty good, just like that, uh, and no no Y polygons, so none of this, just um, one of those, just like that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually make the cube editable now, and we're going to add a new sphere, we're going to add um, 32 segments to it, so it's to 32, and um, we're going to hit make the sphere editable by hitting C. Okay, so now we're going to head to our right view, grab your scaling mode, or scaling thing, and actually, well, first we're going to position the sphere just right in the middle kind of of the cube there on the side. We're going to grab our scaling thing, and we're going to scale it so that it's just, so that it fits just inside the cube, just like that. See here? Seems like that. That, that should be good. Actually, we'll scale it down a bit. Just like that. Now we're going to head to our top view. And we're just going to scale this sphere so that it's um, just kind of touches the edges there on either side. I think just like that, a bit of space between the edges. Like that should be fine. Then we're going to grab our scale again, and we're going to scale it um, horizontally. And we're just trying to kind of put the cube, put the sphere inside the cube so that it kind of fits right inside the cube. Uh, anyway, and I'm going to make this cube not visible. I think that looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and grab tag uh, for the sphere and on the sphere we're going to add a collider, cloth collider tag and the um, cube we're going to give it a cloth simulation tag or cloth tag so the first thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to our forces and we're going to set it all to zero 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 and we're just going to set all these forces to zero because we want it completely neutral we don't want any force. We don't want any random force interfering with it. So just like that. And now we're going to go to our dresser. And actually first, um, before we do anything in the dresser, go to polygon selection mode. Hit U on your keyboard, then L. And that'll bring in loop select. So just click. And we can loop select this. So all the polygons um, are selected in the loop. Go to your cloth tag and um, hit seam polys. And that'll just add a bit of extra information to these polygons. Um, I don't want to explain about that right now, but we need to do that before we can um, dress. Use the dress omatic. Kind of a funny name, but dress omatic. We're gonna click uh, click it here, and boom, it will kind of collapse your thing into a pillow looking thing. Um, so we can now just uh, just get rid of the cloth tags on the sphere and the cube, and we can actually get rid of the sphere because we don't need it anymore. Now, um, what we're gonna do? is we're going to grab a, um, a this, this is kind of harsh around the edges here, you can see, very harsh actually, so we're going to set a display back to go red shading, but you can see it's very harsh along the edges here, and that's not going to look realistic for a pillow. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a subdivision surface and drag the cube into that. That will smooth everything out a bit, and you know, you can set the subdivisions to, I think two should be good. Yeah, two, two or three subdivisions will be fine. Um, and it'll just add, that'll just add more polygons, kind of to the cube. Uh, anyway, that's that. So you have made a, or cube, it's a pillow now. Um, you've made a pillow. So yeah, that's that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye!